A tuna salad sandwich is such a staple, you don't even need a recipe, right? It's tuna, mayo, a little celery, some lemon juice, and maybe onion. But what if you're feeling adventurous? Keep watching for a rarely used ingredient that'll change your tuna salad forever. Tuna salad is a beloved American dish. In fact, Americans consume a whopping amount of canned tuna each year. It might sound a little fishy, but according to the National Fisheries Institute, Americans eat 1 billion pounds of canned and pouched tuna on an annual basis, and 52% of Americans enjoy tuna salad sandwiches. But if those traditional ingredients don't bring your tuna salad to the level of tastiness your taste buds desire, we have the secret ingredient that will change all of that. And the best part? This flavor-enhancing condiment is probably already in your refrigerator. To add a splash of flavor to your tuna salad, you should consider adding a soy sauce to the recipe, suggests the salted spoonful. According to the cooking channel, soy sauce has been around since 300 CE and is an essential condiment for eating sushi, ramen, lo mein, and plenty of other Asian dishes. Soy sauce adds an umami flavor to whatever recipes you want to make pop. It's that rich, savory depth of flavor coupled with a subtle sweetness that pairs brilliantly with all types of fish and will knock the socks off your tuna salad and anyone you make it for. I'm like a drug dealer. I got the guy hooked. I'm having lunch at his desk every day this week, just him and me. He doesn't make a move without me. However, as Salted Spoonful explains, adding the soy sauce is only part of the secret equation here. The other part is to allow your tuna to take a nice bath in the sauce for anywhere between three hours to overnight. The marinating allows the fermented flavors of the brown juice to work its magical powers. But you might be wondering, is it really that yummy? Well, it must be. Sandwich shop Jimmy John's uses soy sauce in the recipe for its tuna salad sandwich. And there are plenty of copycat recipes out there that get pretty close to the delicious delicious taste of the Jimmy John's version. So just how much soy sauce should you add to your tuna salad? Recipes vary, but Food.com suggests using a quarter cup of soy sauce for every six five-ounce cans of tuna in your recipe. Let's say you avoid tuna sandwiches for another reason. You love tuna but aren't a mayo fan. Hope isn't lost, you can replace the mayo in tuna salad with Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt doesn't just add creaminess to your tuna salad, but it will also boost the dish's protein content. Add some extra flavor by layering in Dijon mustard and avocado, as well as crunchy elements such as cucumber, celery, and spring onions. Bumblebee tuna also has its own take on the tuna yogurt combo. The company uses the ingredients to create a variety of dishes, including a low-carb tuna and avocado snack and a tuna, dill, and yogurt-filled pita pocket. They also suggest that if you're looking for something with a little heat, sliced jalapenos might just be the perfect ingredient addition. In addition to the heat, jalapenos also add crunch, and it's such a good combination that they've turned it into pre-packaged products. Speaking of the spicy jalapeno, any spicy pepper might be pretty brilliant in your tuna salad. Men's Health reveals that the juice from jalapenos, which are often found in Mexican dishes, can also improve the taste of tuna salad. The magazine shares that the juice from jalapenos will make mayo or Greek yogurt even creamier, and that bite and burn feeling the peppers create on your tongue adds a kick that spice lovers are sure to enjoy. If you're unsure about how much to add, start with just a dash. Remember, you can always add more. Taking it out, though, that's just not going to happen. So start slow, add more, and you'll know for next time. We love this suggestion for a few reasons. It's delicious, and it gets to the heart of the waste not, want not adage, too. Instead of dumping the juice from a jar of jalapenos, you can use it in your recipes. If you're really on an anti-waste kick, you can also use jalapeno juice to make spicy green juice or even spicy margaritas. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite dishes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.